Hey Casa de Garcia, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. My name is Christina and today I'm going to be making my delicious, super simple five ingredient cheesecakes. I'm going to make a cherry cheesecake, a swirled cherry cheesecake, and a peach cheesecake. So if this sounds like something you want to watch, go ahead and continue to watch and don't forget to subscribe and show some love. These are the ingredients and let's go. So first we're going to add the 8 ounce cream cheese and then we're going to add both sugars into a mixing bowl. You can use a stand mixer, you can use a regular mixer, you can mix it with that whatever you want. I actually wanted to use the ladle, I couldn't find it so I'm using the whisk, but you can use it however you want to. You just want to mix it to combine the sugars with the cream cheese well, but you do not want to over mix. After mixing it for a little bit, go ahead and scrape the edges and mix the powder into the cream cheese and then mix it a little bit more. All right, time to add the Cool Whip. Ideally, you just wanna fold it in and mix it in well, but I went ahead and used my whisk. You, you could use the whisk, you just don't wanna mix it too, too much and make it too watery. You want it to be kind of a thicker consistency. So don't over mix it. Yeah, so I would say from here, just go ahead and use your rubber spatula and just finish mixing it in. All right, now you just scoop in your mix into your pie crust and then just kind of spread it around evenly. Okay, now we're going to start adding the cherry topping a little bit at a time. So you'll just add a little bit, start spreading it out evenly as you can, and then just keep adding it. If you add it all at once, and if you add it in the middle, it's going to push out the cream cheese to the sides. And then you're going to end up having to do a swirl cheesecake like I will show you in the next clip when this cheesecake is done. Okay, now you're gonna take the lid that came with the pie crust and you're gonna go ahead and place it on there and then seal it all the way around like I am doing here. And then you're gonna move it to the refrigerator. And you wanna have it in the refrigerator for about a minimum of three hours. I usually bake it the night before and just let it sit there all night. But you want it to at least sit in the refrigerator for the minimum of three hours.
Okay, so basically this turned into a swirl cheesecake because um, I poured my cherries in the middle of it and it pushed out the cream cheese to the sides as you could tell and then it was getting all messy and then so then I just decided to mix it up and it came out pretty good. I mean it's the same thing, it's just mixed up instead of the cherries just on top. And you could stop stirring it if you want this cool consistency, this looking like real swirly. I kept stirring it because it wasn't really planned and it came out more like pinky, Pink, not pinky, but I kind of wish I would have stopped when it look kind of cool with like swirl swirly but yeah so basically you're just gonna make the cheesecake as we just did the other cheesecake and then just swirl it to the consistency that you want Okay, now we are going to attempt a peach cheesecake. Basically, it's all the same ingredients in all the same direction besides the peach topping. Additional to the other ingredients of the cheesecake, like the half a cup sugar, half a cup powdered sugar, eight ounces of cream cheese, a tub of Cool Whip, and the pie crust. You're gonna want a big can, the biggest thing of peaches you can find. And then I probably put about a third cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup to a third cup of brown sugar. Do it to your taste, add like a quarter cup taste it and then if you need more add a little bit more and then I also just added a dash of cinnamon and just probably about a teaspoon of vanilla once it was all stirred in well um, basically all the same directions for the filling or not the filling for the cream cheese filling um, you know then pour it into your pie crust and then I topped it with the peaches and then while in their bowl the peaches are kind of big so I'm trying to cut them at least in half um, so they're not too big of a bite. So once you put all your peach mixture on top of your cheesecake, go ahead and add some of the sauce on top. You don't want to overdo it, like you don't want to make it too watery, but you definitely want to put some sauce. So just kind of play it by ear or eye. <laughs> All right, Casa de Garcia, thank you so much for watching. These cheesecakes are super fluffy, super soft tasting. They're not super sweet. You could always add more sugar, but to me, they're just perfect. I actually made these cheesecakes for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I usually make them for the holidays or special occasions. Um, let me know if you make cheesecakes or if you actually try one of these out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, we appreciate all the love and support, and we will talk to you guys later.